What's going on, everyone? It's me, Coach Ed, coming to you today to talk about the Knicks. The Knicks played a Sunday night game against the Philly Philly 76ers in New York, um, part of a home-and-home. Well, not a home-and-home. The Knicks have two games at home against the Sixers, Sunday and Tuesday. So I want to get into that a little bit. Um, It was an ugly loss for the Knicks. Ugly game. They lose. 79-73 79-73 to the Sixers. So, um, but just want to say this this episode is sponsored by Stitch by Trini. Want to have some great gear put together, crocheted, whatever. She can do it. Reach out to uh, Anne Marie. She can definitely take care of you. Stitch by Trini is the one to go to. So, the Knicks, like I said, they lost 79-73. Um, it was not a good game for the Knicks overall. Um, they shot 32.5% shooting, 26 of 80. Philly shot 38.8 at 31 to 8, uh, 31 and 80. Both were hit nine three pointers. Philly was nine to 30 for 30%. New York was nine to 40 for 22 and a half. Free throws. Philly was eight of 14, while New York was 12 of 16. Rebounds. New York out-rebounded Philly 60-53. to uh, They had 16 offensive, while Philly had 14. Philly uh, had more assists, 20-19. to Both teams had 9 steals, 5 blocks. New York had 19 turnovers, while Philly had 13. Um, tough game for the Knicks, man. Really, really tough game. Uh, they needed this. Uh, leading scorer for New York was Jalen Brunson, 19 points. And that's with him scoring zero points in the first quarter. Adiva Chenja with 15. Bogdanovich with 10. But pretty much from there, the next closest was Achua with 8. Everyone else pretty much was... Oh, Josh Hart had 9. Uh, for Philly, they were led by Kelly Oubre, 18 points, 10 rebounds. Uh, Tobias Harris, 12, 11 points, 12 rebounds. Buddy Yield, 16.7 rebounds. Paul Reed, 13.7 rebounds. So uh, balanced scoring. A lot of, you know, a, it was an old school, 90 style type of a defensive game. A lot of grabbing, especially um, when it came to Jalen Brunson. A lot of times he'd get into the lane and they would collapse. Philly would collapse on, around him, sometimes sending five guys around him. A hands up or grabbing, pushing. Uh, there were times that, you know, um, uh, Batoon, uh, one, one scenario right on in the fourth quarter, right on the sideline, pushed Jalen Brunson right in front of the referee, and he didn't call the foul. Now, it did get a little chippy towards the end um, between uh, Dante DiVincenzo and Oubre. Uh, Knicks ended up uh, having a, a technical, and um, the technical was shot against them, but this was a really, really tough loss for them. Um, it was set up perfectly for them in terms of positioning because if you sit down and you look at the standings in the East, New York is still in the fourth spot. They're a game and a half up over Orlando. Orlando lost today. So if New York won, they would actually have been a game and a half up over Orlando. Miami lost. Um, Miami's two games behind New York. They would have been three games up. The Sixers are still two games behind New York. So this was a tough loss. Now, New York ends up having to play Philly again on Tuesday. Uh, it's going to be a, a another tough battle. New York needs to come out hungry uh, with that game, especially after this loss. You know, And then they go on a West Coast four-game trip against... The Trailblazers, the Kings, the Warriors, and the Nuggets. So they definitely need that game um, before they go out west. One, to give themselves a sense of confidence, uh, but to really get back on the winning form. Hopefully, um, you'll be getting back um, OG, Ananobi, Julius Randle. Uh, I don't know about Mitchell, um, but OG and Julius, um, their rehab is ramped up. OG is clear um, for full practice participation. And Julius has been working out against um, padding, basically. So um, the Knicks need them right now, especially going down the stretch, um, because literally they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 games left. And they're going to be tough ones. Um, they pretty much play everyone uh, in the East. You know, the... the well, to close out the in, in, to close out in April, the Heat, the Kings, the Bulls, the Bucks, the Celtics. I mean, these are the teams that they're going to be closing out the season. So, uh, every game, it should be a playoff atmosphere for them. It should be no letting off. So, uh, but again, this is a tough, tough loss for the Knicks right now, uh, losing 79-73 to the Sixers. You know, can they rebound on third on th on Tuesday? You know, and, and Philly, for that matter, are they going to be really amped up and really excited to come out? You know, we'll see what happens on Tuesday. So um, stay tuned um, for more. And I thank everyone for turning in. And like I like to say in sports, make sure you turn it on and you turn it up. Let's go.